the fact that Ridge left should be indication enough to these folks where his heart is truly at. It should be indication enough, but they still can't see it. They still begging him. They still begging him to choose Taylor. She's begging him. Steffi is talking about, I still think y'all should get married. I just didn't want y'all to get basically get married under false pretenses or whatever. I said, the fact that this man, even before he left, he just be he be trying to avoid. Remember when they was at, uh, I think, Eric's house and Brooke and Taylor were going back and forth while he just stood there. And I said, um, I said, he just standing there like, look at them, still crazy over me after all these years. That's his mindset, I feel like. Because even after this, I feel like he going to be like, he going to pull up. I don't know who to choose because Brooke didn't do nothing wrong. But I'm, I love Taylor, too, and all that stuff. He going to be indecisive, I feel like. But at the same time, like I said at the beginning of this video, I feel like the fact that he left to go to Brooke is indication enough. So Taylor's asking him, are we getting married and all this stuff? Everybody's asking him and telling him to choose Taylor. And she's telling him to choose her. And he's like, I got to sit something straight. I said, yeah, all right. I said, yeah, all right. And then Taylor, I said, I hope this lady don't lose her mind. Because she just sitting there, she holding her stomach and stuff. And then she's like, he's going to sit straight. I was like, poof, naive fool. Even if he was to come back to her, he still loved her. And he still only married, well, he ain't married her. He was only going to marry her because of what he thought that uh, Brooke did. Because I don't care. If you truly wanted to marry Taylor, you would have. And y'all both could have went over there and y'all could have told Brooke the truth about what Thomas did. And the fact that y'all did still decide to get married because y'all truly love each other. And y'all still love each other regardless of his manipulation. You didn't do that. Y'all could have went over there as husband and wife to tell her the truth and sit and apologize because she didn't do it or whatever. But you left. Somebody you got to set things straight. I'm surprised they actually showed on today's episode him go over there and tell everything to her. But we didn't get her reaction. We didn't get her reaction. She probably going to be like, I told you he was unstable and all that stuff, but you didn't believe me. Y'all think she's going to be mad and take him back? Or y'all think that she actually going to be like, I don't know if I could forgive you. I don't know if I could forgive you. Now you know how they do. But yeah, Taylor over here said, and Stephanie and Tom is into it. He said, if you would have kept your mouth shut, <laughs> if it wasn't for you meddling sister, they would be married by now and all this stuff. And then Taylor like, stop fighting. And Ridge said that he going to talk to Eric about his position in the company. Somebody said that, though. They said he was going to do that. And he's like, what's next in the family as well and all this stuff? And I was like, man, come on now. Come on now. But he did say something. He did say something to Taylor. He was like, you're a psychiatrist, right? Uh, and basically asked her, can you see that our son needs help? And he was like trying to explain himself, and then she trying to hold up for him. I was like, don't you see? You can't keep holding up for him, and he don't need the help from his mama. He need the help from an actual person, obviously. <laughs> they should have written this better or gave him a different storyline, but instead they're going to make him obsessive and crazy and manipulative and everything. But, yeah. He was like, you can't see, can you see they needs help? And she, she was like, I thought we would get to, she's still talking about her husband and wife. I said, hey, this man ain't thinking nothing about no wedding. Are you, don't you see the look on his face? Don't you see the words coming out his, don't you hear the words coming out his mouth? He ain't thinking about marrying you. He thinking about, he was on his way out before you stopped him, to be honest. The minute he found out the truth, he wanted to go over to Brooke or whatever. He like, ooh, finally, I was looking for some reason not to, to marry her or whatever. But I don't know, what y'all think he gonna do? Then you got Sheila over here delusion land number two or whatever just like taylor but um uh, she over here talking about uh you don't underestimate her and all this stuff and deacon's trying to tell her they both can go to jail i said well you should have thought about that before you let this lady talk you into all this now you on the end you're gonna be on thin nice with hope then that's gonna be a whole nother situation because then you look at it because remember ridge and brooke was into it over deacon and the fact that he's hiding out sheila they said bill gonna be the one to expose that he hiding out sheila <laughs> he gonna send him to jail because they gonna be gloating or whatever about brooke not choosing him and everything so they said bill's supposed to make it his mission to um get the information or whatever and he gonna learn the truth he gonna learn the truth or whatever and he gonna tell it and i was like man he gonna lose hope and everything see man how you let Sheila talk you into this foolishness? And she's sneaking out. Talking about she got some old weeds. On yesterday episode, that's what she said. 
But y'all comment down below what y'all think Rich gonna do. Do y'all think Brooklyn's gonna forgive him? Who do y'all think he's gonna choose? Don't y'all think I ain't gonna put words in y'all mouth? But the wouldn't the best thing be if they both walked away from him? Comment down below. Until next time, this is.